Happy Wednesday, Vile File listeners. Vi Fi's? Are we call them Vi Fi's? You guys are now Vi Fi's, by the way. So now you know. Uh, <laughs> I've been dying. Uh, everything, every hit podcast has like their listeners call themselves a certain thing. There's been a couple uh, uh, options, some of which I was like, eh. <laughs> really. They sounded a little violent or something. They, they're just, they're, you could really easily mess up. <laughs> Is my point. Yeah. We're going to go with the Wi-Fi's, I feel like. Let me guys, let me know if you guys uh, love it, hate it. I don't know. Great episode today. Yeah. Uh, Morgan Stewart joins us. And uh, Morgan and I have become uh, friends since our interview. Oh, have you hung out? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> we have not. But uh, I mean, I thought we, we won't or haven't, but she's cool. You really hit it off, She's I cool people. She's fun to talk to. Uh I learned a lot about her. She's obviously uh, building a very successful career at E, and she got her start being what one of the rich kids of Beverly Hills. Yeah, I, I've said this to Morgan since since uh, and we had very ch different childhoods. Yes, yes, <laughs> we come from different walks of life. But here you are doing kind of but the same here thing. Here we are. Um, she's very fun and funny and interesting. Has a fashion line. She's doing a lot of things. She's very impressive. Works hard. Yeah. Very impressive woman. It's a lot of fun, very relatable and fun, just interesting conversations. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. I've learned so much about myself recently. How did you do it? Through Ancestry. Ancestry DNA, people. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I thought I, when I took it, I I, uh, I I wasn't expecting anything crazy. Right. So we spit in some vials, sent them off, and they sent us our results. And I... I I went through most of my life thinking I was a quarter Polish because I thought my grandma was 100% Polish. So you kind of like do the math. Yes, and, you know, yes. I'm, I'm a quarter. Yes. I'm barely Polish. How much? I don't like it's in the other category. Oh. I'm also 8% Jewish, which my sister very excited about. Which one? Maria, who has been on the yeah. show. I'm like, hey, by the way, she was having a bad day. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you're 8% Jewish. She was very, she and she literally wrote, you made my day. Aww. Turns out we're also 13% Swedish. I've never told anyone in my life when being asked, what are you, yeah. that I'm Swedish. And while Swedish isn't very exotic, it feels- It kind of is. It feels fun to say I'm Swedish. I I've been told to that my last name is a derivative of, of some sort of French. Vial. Vial. Like DV Talis, actually. Oh. Somewhere DV Talis, which sounds sexy and cool, got butchered into Vial, which no one can DV Talis? Yeah, and somewhere, oh. I, don't, I don't know. Apparently, that's some sort of French origin. Yeah. I'm not French at all. <laughs> not even a little. Bare, no French. Did it make you sad? No, nah, not really. Yeah. No, nah, I don't really care. Yeah. Uh, But it was just wild to know that I was 13 is not nothing. 13's a lot. A lot, yeah. That's a good chunk. I'm like 40% English and Irish. Right. So like... You knew that. Pretty pretty white there. Right. Uh, but the rest, eight, eight, the 13% Swedish, 8% Jewish. Sweden is a fun place to visit. Maybe you should now. I've never met... Maria used to live there. No way. My sister used to live there she too. She played basketball. Really? Yeah. For, and uh, why'd your sister live she there? She did. She was on the Fulbright Scholarship studying in... Um, I know, I know. But she was in Gothenburg, which is the Christmas capital of the world, apparently. Well, wait, wait. When we were filming in, in Finland, I literally met Santa because they said that was the Christmas uh -oh, capital. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, when were you, f oh, for The Bachelor? It doesn't. You met Santa? He stunk. He was really smelling. Oh, no. Really f terrible body odor, which actually made it more authentic. Makes sense. He's yeah. wearing that. Really heavy costume. Anyways, I, I will say I I didn't think I would be surprised by my results, and I was greatly yeah. surprised. That's a fun thing to share with your family too. My, my sister and I talked about it for a good forty minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm going home for Thanksgiving, as I said, and I can't wait to talk to my parents about it. Uh, it was wild. Anyways, uh, you guys should check it out. It's a it's a fun. It's a fun conversation to have with family and friends. And now I, I went through my whole life telling people it's a quarter Polish. Yikes. I was way off. Wildly off. Anyways, save big on Ancestry DNA with special holiday pricing and spark meaningful conversations around the holiday dinner table. Give the gift that can unwrap their history. Head to my URL at Ancestry DNA slash podcast. 
to get your Ancestry DNA kit on sale today. That's Ancestry.com slash podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. This is truly the best gift you can give someone. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I am super into this Zola. I've I've learned a lot about it since uh, they became an, uh, a friend of show. Uh, they're changing the wedding industry as we know it. I, I Listen, I... Ashley and Jared had an amazing wedding. They put a lot of it thought into it. It looks so fun. It was lovely. But I got to say, it took up a lot of their time. Yeah. Total, I can't <laughs> and, imagine uh, how much wasn't, time Ashley spent Wasn't on inexpensive. That. Yeah. Zola seems to be doing a great job. Just like, it's, it's fun to get married. It's exciting. But it doesn't have to cannibalize your entire goddamn life. And everybody gets married. You might as well use some of the knowledge other people have. Oh, my God. It's it's great. I mean, it's over a million couples have used Zola. Yeah. A million. Yep. That's not a small number. So it's a free wedding website. It just takes minutes to set up and customize. And you get hundreds of designs to choose from. So you can make it your own. You add stories of how you met, photos. And everybody gets all the information about the wedding right there. Then you build your registry there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, helpful wedding registry. Uh, they will make the, the process fun and easy. They carry uh, favorite brands like uh, Brooklinen and Airbnb. They're the only place where you can register for honeymoon funds and gift cards along with physical gifts. Yeah, do it all in one place. All in one place. If you're getting married, you got to use Zola. It's a, I, it, may, it streamlines the process. I, I, I can't believe this hasn't existed already. Yeah, for gotta, a long. you got to keep this in mind for the future. Someday I'm going to use Zola. <laughs> Uh, Zola says they will do anything for love. I would well, also. Will they will they go on four seasons of The Bachelor mm. unsuccessfully? <laughs> Are you feeling competitive with Zola? Yeah, it's like what the fuck? That's my claim to fame. <laughs> no, they're uh they're great. So to get this miracle and build your free wedding website on Zola and get fifty dollars towards your registry, go to Zola.com slash V I A L L and get started today. Again, that is Zola.com Z O L A dot com slash v-i-a-l-l to get started and get solo well guys i think you're really gonna enjoy this episode it's amazing it's fun i really enjoyed uh having morgan as a guest so much that we've become friends and i hope that you will feel like morgan is your friend as well don't forget to rate us five stars on itunes i feel like you guys have been slacking <laughs> uh merch is available vilefiles.com get it while it's hot Supplies are limited. Oh. The show. I like, but I, I swear to God, I have a sincere question about Mercury and Reso Retrograde because it always appears to be in retrograde. It is. It is quite Every often. time there's a fucking problem. I will say, weirdly enough, I woke up this morning and f it kind of creeped me out. I'm not very superstitious, but I woke up and pulled the shirt off my uh, closet. Oh, okay. And the, now, granted, this has happened before. It's not the first time. The, the rail fell in all the clothes, right? Mercury. Super like annoyed. And then and then I opened up the kitchen as I'm making my vegetable smoothie. And oh for the God. first time ever, for the first time ever, the rail on the fridge just fell and all the things fell on, uh, mm -hmm. in the fridge. Oh, that was weird. And then I took a shower and my little squeegee thing, which again, this has happened before too, also fell. And I'm like, in 20 minutes, I've had three things just kind of fucking break that's really that's like mercury that's also like mercury mixed with a ghost, ghost. like somebody doesn't fucking Definitely like a you. ghost. Yeah. do you believe in ghosts um i don't know if i believe in ghosts but i believe in spirits i believe that people still kind of follow you am i allowed to say fuck yeah yeah oh, please God, we invite that i don't do things that don't allow me to say bad words oh. we get the occasional um wonderful person who criticizes our vocabulary from time to time but we in, we embrace but that's it. the point right we want people to be uncomfortable yeah. or you're Wait, not you memorable can't say fuck on your ch on your job i say fu fuck on my job um i say fuck on my nighttime show they bleep it the daytime show is live so i mm -hmm. don't there's no fucks when we do a this there was a fuck last week and it was quickly wow. gone yeah do you find that a, a good bleep is sometimes even more impactful than, than oh. the actual word fuck yeah. i like a, i like a good yeah i'm trying to think if it's there's a set like i'm trying to think or is it just i'm trying to think of myself being played back if it's a bleep or if it's just like a taken out on your night show yeah Man, being live must be hard. Being live is really hard. Pretending to concentrate, come up with answers, pretending to care about some of the things you're talking about. I'm like, oh my God. But somehow I do it well. Awesome. So well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for coming. That was a wonderful little 
introduction. Yeah. Thanks for having me. How do I like this... we jump right into it. Well, because I was just here because I did the morning toast. Yes, I have been made aware of that. And we talked about you. I, I also have been made aware of that. Which I don't know how it came up. I think maybe they were saying that this is like your studio or something. And then they were talking to me about your sign. And then we got all into you. I think they were trying to figure out who you maybe would be interested in dating. Right. <laughs> You left that part out. Right, which I wasn't, I didn't really remember until you just you it, then yeah. <laughs> You then proceeded to uh, uh, poke at an insecurity of mine. And that insecurity of mine is the fact that I was on The Bachelor. And I am my own toughest critic, and I judge myself for going on the show. Okay. And I naturally assume that uh, there's a certain type of person who sticks their nose up at that re reality. And interesting enough, there I was the first name they brought up. And they said Nick from The Bachelor. And your immediate reaction is, was like, fuck, no. <laughs> and it had to do... Uh, but it then had, I Googled hold on, you. Hold on. Uh, and, and, and again, I could tell that, that that only reaction was not really knowing who the fuck I was. It was that it was a, of an alumni. Because then they asked anyone from Bachelor Nation, and you're like, oh my God, please. Uh, and it, quite honestly, I would, if I were outside of it, would probably say the same thing it's an insecurity of mine it proceeded to get nicer oh okay yeah, um, we ended up on a really nice room. but you know what you're right because i actually did a reality show that doesn't have the best name and not that the bachelor has a bad name but it was it's not something that i'm the most proud of and it is something that i'm actually equally insecure about so i should have been a little bit more tuned into that and sympathetic to you and not have judged you right off the bat but i liked you when i found out you I were don't, a libra i don't mind yes there was that <laughs> i mean listen that's it, it is a People judge. I think that's just a, a reality mm -hmm. of the world. And even if, yeah, it's like it's nice to be like, oh, I'm insecurities and I shouldn't judge. But I think we usually judge, especially even more in the things that we would judge on ourselves. Uh, yeah. Well, hello. Yeah. Very well you know, said. Like, I agree. I, I even now it's just like I can say that knowing that it's an insecurity of mine, and that if I if someone uh, said, hey, I think you should meet so and so, and then I found out they were say on a um, a reality TV show that maybe had a reputation at times for maybe being a little reality TV-ish. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I would mm -hmm. probably be like, eh, just that would be my initial reaction. Yeah, I know, but I I know, but it doesn't make it right. But yeah, doesn't make it right. But, but I, we do it. It also ended up with me being here. Yeah, look at you both. Is it, isn't that how that happened? You both pivoted. You hit me. You hit me up in the DM real quick. I've after that. heard. A, uh, well, actually, I didn't know at the time. I have had heard your name floated in Ooh, around. Scary. And as as well, what did you hear? Like how? Just in passing? Oh, I'm like, what is it? Tell me everything. Uh, no, I mean, you're just some. You're well, quite honestly, just that you're an interesting, hardworking person in the industry. Oh. And we're. Okay. I'm. I'm always looking for interesting people that I are, are good talkers on the show. Mm -hmm. And then like you know, you're in the news here and there. You're on, you have a little Instagram. And I'm like, ah, oh, this seems like someone who might be interesting to listen to. Right, might be, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, and then, uh, then I was made aware of the morning toast. And mm -hmm. I went back and, and looked at that. And I said, well, well this is- Perfect this timing. Makes, makes, a, makes a lot of sense. Um, you obviously are very successful. I, I, I Googled this, you know, actually Rochelle did a lot of recon, sent me your bio. And okay. it was long. It was long. It was long. And in and, and a, and a great way of that, you're you're very busy. I am you're doing a lot of things. Yes, I am doing all the things right now. Very, very busy in a very short amount of time throughout the day. So like I have very early mornings and I end, I, I shouldn't say I end early, right? Crystal, that's not good for me to say because I don't end early. I'm there quite all day long, actually, for whatever reason. And even if I'm not done really working, I still have to take a photo and that takes an hour. Yeah. You know, what? it's a lot photo of work. It takes an hour? Yeah. Well, well, for me, it does. I somehow, it's very challenging for me to get a good Instagram photograph. <laughs> well, I mean, I. It's not easy. No, it's not. And I don't know my aim. But every day I'm like. It doesn't take, do you do one every day? No. <laughs> Basically. Um, it, we were exhausting. talking about the morning show, the t new Apple TV show. Yeah. Yep. And, and I asked her if it was similar and she said, 
she related. I do. It's I was, accurate. It's worth watching. I do, it's, it is very good. And it, I can, I mean, just from down to how they get into the building with the badges. I mean, the badge is like the biggest pro- problem of my day because I can never remember it. But <laughs> I don't get up at 3.30. I get up at 5 every single day. I do a morning show called Daily Pop for an hour, which is live from 9 to 10. And then I have a 30-minute turnaround and I go and I film um, a nighttime show, which is going four nights a week next week. And then I have an Instagram segment called Necessary Realness that I do. And then I have a Snapchat show called What the Fact fashion, which I film twice a week um, on Monday. So it's just, it's nonstop talking and filming. What's your favorite one? Nightly Pop. Okay. Nightly Pop was always kind of the goal and Daily Pop kind of happened by accident, even though I love doing it and it's fun. And it's definitely, for whatever reason, the the hardest one for me to do because it's just like straight celebrity news and I'm, I want to be a little bit more off the cuff. The nighttime show is a little bit more laid back, a little bit more like Chelsea Handler, which is what I've always wanted to do. Um, as a very successful uh, woman uh, working, uh, I know that you are recently relatively single. Yeah, very, yes. Um, recently. And I wonder, and we get this question a lot on the show or even for myself, you know, how is that something you're like, do you throw yourself into your work or do you, uh, as a way to kind of like, I don't want to worry about my personal life right now, do you find that maybe even a way that sometimes it's an easy excuse to like, not focusing yourself on your personal life and like how is dating do you think going forward for you oh, now God. being so busy at work and how do you manage that because i feel like a lot of people do struggle with that and also the starting over because you are in a long long term, re- i was long in a relationship for six years i was married for three years we've been split up for like six ish months still figuring it out maybe in the beginning and then just as of recently just really not speaking i feel like had i not had work during this process it would have been really fucking hard and brutal. And I think I probably, you know, on the flip side for him, he works every day, but not as, you know, I have a schedule. I Mm -hmm. have to be on television. I have to look good. I have to be awake. It's a very, I emotionally, you don't really have much room to not be at your best. And even if you're having a horrible day or you feel like shit or you crying, which I don't cry often, you still have to get up and be like, what about Selena Gomez? Like I can't, so I feel like that's really helped me in a lot of ways. But on the flip side of that, I don't know if I've maybe processed things as much as I probably should have by now. I think now I'm really starting to more than I did in the beginning. I also think I realized like what really went wrong. But dating is tricky because I'm so not down to try with all these fuck boys out there. I was in a relationship for a long time and I, I feel like I deserve somebody great. I don't want to have to go through like, I don't want to be in the reality of having to actually date and I have to get up at five. How do you plan on doing that? I don't know. I'm really stressed out about it actually. Like I want to just kind of float into the next person that's perfect. I feel so. like a lot, of, a, lot <laughs> of people, real? a lot of people try to do that. Yeah, so like night of goal. dating kind of, I, I don't, I don't have time to date or try. I just, I just want him to show up. No, I want it. Like I want to put myself out there, but I also feel like I am somebody that I haven't been single for six years and I was younger obviously then I had more time to do it now it's like I need my dates to be a little bit more formal which is actually the opposite of my personality because I'm a little bit more fun and spontaneous but like if you want to go out with me you, it needs to be at seven and we need to be done by eight thirty. Eight thirty? Nine. what if it's going great if it's going great then I'm missing the morning meeting but it better be going great okay. mm. well how would you define a fuck boy just somebody that like you know like we hook up or hang out one night and then he like i'm in i'm in the midst of like a lot of other texting that's going on like if you want to only hook up with me i'm fine with that but let's consistently do that does that make sense yeah like we don't have to have dinner but then like be consistent don't like pop in and then four weeks later when none of your other girls have worked out you're texting me like i am not that bitch you don't want to be the i don't want to like you need to be like he's bored i'm fine with if you want to have sex with me for two months and not have sex with me anymore Sign me up. Yeah. No problem. But don't have sex with me and then be like, okay, I'll, let's see who else I can have sex with and then try to come back. Like, I won't respond. Yeah, that's fair. Is that fair? It's yeah, totally you want fair. like a part-time position, not like a freelance contract. I'm not at this point going to be Upfront in a Upfront expectations. Seat. Yeah. That's all. Right. Yeah. Is that not realistic? That's totally realistic. Yeah. I mean, the, the part that if might not be realistic is the uh, <sighs> trying to bypass the the unfortunate grind that comes in with 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 dating. I know. Also, I feel like we, as we get older and we, you know, you're probably a lot more in tune to the things that you like or dislike right. in your life. Right. And with that, there's probably a built-in expectation and therefore it makes sense to think, well, I don't want to waste my time doing X, Y, or Z. Right. But on the flip side, you also have been kind of out of the dating world and scene for a while. So there probably, I'm guessing, is 
kind of a, a learning curve of just kind of like, kind of just getting yeah. to know this landscape, so to speak. And it, it's, it's like weird. you want to like, and I I'm, I get why you want to avoid that because it's like. It's also like, I'm also n- not that I am anybody. So don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I don't take myself seriously in any way, but like, I also want to meet people that like, I don't know. I want to be able to be myself and not have that turn into like somebody talking about that some way. I don't know. What like, do you mean? I just, I feel like I, I now need to be a little bit more protective of, of me as a person oh, versus sure. before. And that's not also, my personality isn't like that either. So yeah. it's just like, I think they need to be vetted a little bit. Is that fair? They need to come highly oh, totally. recommended. I mean, I talk about this a lot. The, my safety for me is a number one quality in terms of dating. Right. Well, that seems dramatic. But you know, no, that, it sounds dramatic. Like what, what, is there a Taekwondo class before? What no, you, for the same way you described. It's just like, I want to feel safe to be myself. I want to feel safe to say whatever, do whatever in a place where this conversation is going to be between you and I. Not that it's going to be anything outlandish or crazy, but like... just like, it's not going to be gossip for other people. It's not gossip and it's not like a... It's, yeah, they don't, there's not an alternative motive. It's not like a right. a fun, exciting thing for them. It's just like, I can just be a normal person. Right. And the other person is going to treat me like a normal person. And that's sometimes not always easy. But like, I feel like you probably get hit up in DMs all day, every day. I get the emails. We have an email for people to send in questions. It's constantly just people being like, Nick, this is so crazy. I never thought I'd do this. I'm like, what? Why are you doing this? Nobody, people are crazy. Nobody hits me up on DM. Is that weird? Wait, really? No. Are you bothered by that? No, absolutely. Why? <laughs> why is no one DMing me? But do they? Do know I you're have single? Have more, you put yourself out there? What, like my tits? What do I do? Is your audience women? Like his audience is all women, so it works so out is mine. for him. So See, is that's mine. your problem. I don't. Yeah. How do I? But you don't I, want this problem. It's not the same. No, but the only way to get more male followers is to like be like Sexy. M- more naked. Yeah. And it's Like I just want to be better dressed. You From know? my understanding. When it comes to Instagram, male followers don't have much value other than the occasional dick pic. I don't even get a dick pic. We don't have guy followers, but women followers are 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 their currency and the fact that they are more interested and compelling and they care about what you want to talk about. And yeah, yeah, but you I have wanna, your fashion line and yeah, you can sell to them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I need to date people too. So DM me. With, if you have a check mark, you DM wanna, me. So wait, wait. Oh, I'm you, kidding. You want to meet your future Prince Charming on Instagram? No, but I mean, a little bit of attention that way shouldn't be so hard. I mean, uh, what is the deal? Sure. I, I'm quite certain after this podcast, you might have a few people will shoot their shot. Ugh, yeah, but yeah. And then you'll roll your eyes and you'll think to yourself, really? You thought you had a shot? <laughs> right. That, right. That will be mostly your reaction because <laughs> maybe one out of 500, you'll be like, oh, he's kind of cute. Yeah. And it's also like, I, I don't, I would never take, I mean, if somebody DM me and was like, I know you through someone else, I would never just go out with a random person via DM. So it's safe to say that you have some nervousness about getting back out there. Um, yeah, pretend I I feel like you might pretend that it doesn't bother you, but you probably think about it. Well, I'm just like where? Yeah, I mean, I've also had not that I've dated anybody, but there have been obviously like texts here and there and people and I for some reason, like I have like younger boys just wanting to go out. I'm like, what do you mean by younger boys? Like 26, 27. How old are you? 31. How old are you? 39. I'm 33. You're 39. No, you're not. Are you 39? Is he lying? He's not lying. Are you really 39? (laughs) Am I an idiot? Is he 39? Yes, he's 39. Don't subject. don't make him feel too good about himself. I don't please. feel good about myself. I'm, 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 yeah. You, I mean, I would have, I thought you were my age. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, I'm not going out with a choice. Twi- <laughs> Should I Google this? It's, you, we're not lying yeah, to trust you. Trust me, I would not put it out there that I'm 39 <laughs> if I wouldn't have to. What, what, do you have to? You could say you're 34. I'm not a liar. Okay. Well, there's that. How old were you when you started on The Bachelor? 33 34 yeah so then he felt you know okay saying it now he can't go back i'm googling now yeah you You are you truly didn't believe us that's crazy how did you even get involved in the bachelor i didn't even google you is that weird no that's a you know we were talking via dm yesterday in preparation for this podcast you had a great analogy that i agree with and i once said this and like when you say you google someone there's always anxiety on the other end, I'd be like, oh my God, you Googled me? Like, and and Google, Googling someone is like, it's like running into that person who's like, oh, I'm best friends with them. And you've met them once. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> let me tell you all about them. Oh, I have, oh my God, we're like, and we're best friends. We're the, we're the closest. And like, oh my God, I know so much about them. 
That's Google. That is so fucking Google. Uh, I don't know what's up. I'm not good at Google. Ooh, my God. Are we Googling me? Mm-hmm. No. Those photos. Who is that? That's hot. You I actually am- have very attractive photos. I mean, if you want to see bad internet photos, Google me. There's a dick That's on my Google. face, you guys. I have to figure it out. It's not good. We were talking about this before the show started. You don't like your nose. No. I, I you call it been, a dick on your it, face? It's just dickish. Oh. You know what? I think it started to bother me a little bit more as I've been on TV. But this has been the oldest conversation I've had. I'm, those aren't that bad those photos I gotta okay. say I don't think you should continue to call it dickish thank you what should I call it mushroomish uh, I don't know it, it's a nice nose first of all but yes like all of a sudden you say dickish and then I'm like literally trying to imagine or not imagine a dick <laughs> on your face can we do more photos of me and not my ex I like know, is I'm that a, a, with the tear and it's such a dramatic tear there's wedding photo Wait, did okay Justin, let me get I'll did go Justin back. Bieber attack you he did not attack me. There's a headline that says Justin it, he Bieber. Did, he did not um, attack me. I made a bad comment that I should not have made. And he basically just said, you should use your positivity for good or your platform you for say? good. I made a stupid low rent dig about his, um, I don't know. What are During you a live show? Yeah. No, it wasn't a live show. It was a tape show. It was just, it was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. I don't know it. It, it was very much hanging from, it was low, low hanging fruit, fruit. And it wasn't necessary. And and he came after me and I got some hate and that was it. I love Justin Bieber. Yeah. Like uh, love. As someone who's obviously witty and snarky and, and, and says things quickly. You or me. Both. But, and I'm asking you though, mm-hmm. how often do you... Uh, are like, oh fuck, I probably could have lived without not saying that. Um, You know what? Not that often. Actually, for whatever reason, I, there's something really weirdly likable about me. I get away with saying things that I think most people would not for whatever reason, because I think it comes out pretty funny most of the time. Do you, do you think you get away with it unanimously? Or, or people are just talking behind your back? No, I think I think I get it. Don't make me paranoid. <laughs> I think I get away with it. I, I'm a paranoid person in that way. I think I get away with it. I don't think I would I would be doing the jobs that I'm doing. My Google image photos, by the way, are hot. They are. Or was that my Insta? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, you cannot do this to me. I'm so self-obsessed that I will watch you do go through every photo. Like, that's a good... Look at the tit on that one. That's wow. hot. Wow. Nice yeah, thanks, guys. Prada, uh, Prada flame shoes, bitch. You are debating getting a nose job. Yeah, well, I've, I've been debating for a long time. I've moved my appointment. I've had like 100 consultations because it's one of those things where people like love me for not kind of falling victim to like having a whole new face like i look pretty similar to when i started that's a good thing yeah i mean my lips are a little bigger but duh who's aren't right it's like mandatory it's like eating breakfast is it though it, it i don't know. blow me with that yes it's mandatory mandatory god it is mm. it's a little bit okay. you don't need to i gotta say you know, I, I i i mean it's fine what everyone wants to do kissing a a, a lip that's they've gone a little overboard. Okay, but the, who are you kissing? Mine are not overboard. I, I'm not. I'm not saying they are, but I'm just saying. What does it feel like? Rubbery. Then you're going to some. You're hang, hooking up with girls that have cheap ass shit in their lips. It's Probably, not good. I mean, it's been done. P- be more selective with your DMs. <laughs> it's not. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's interesting because you you're obviously an attractive person. You have a nice nose, but it bothers you. And yeah, where, did where it you, growing up? Always. Oh. Let me ask you this. If if you knew that you wouldn't get any criticism, what's your biggest fear of of, of going through with Looking it? Looking completely different. I don't, I'm, I'm not having the control to like, because if it's done correctly, it will be great. Okay. If it's, if there's, if he's having a bad day, I just, the control of it right. not coming out the, the way. The human that, error. Yeah, the human error of it all. And also people just maybe not respecting me as much because I think people really do respect the authenticity and People are like, this is what you look like. You've kept it. Like most people in the industry, I don't want to say all, but most have had their nose tweaked a few times. Really? Yeah. I mean, you see it in even people who have had long careers. You see it from the when they started. Like there's probably three nose jobs that have happened that have been really subtle. Like, but also the guy that I want to go to is like 75 and I want to make sure that he I get it in before it's before he's not there anymore. Interesting. I've, uh, I know a few people who I saw them and I was like, whew, Wow. Your new nose. And and that's bad. That's like when it's really, like when they just slope it and down. And I think it was like their third one. And it was like, why'd you, why'd you keep going? There's a, it's a, a bit oh, of an addiction. Look bad? They yeah. looked uncomfortable. It just looked like that. Yes. It, it didn't look natural and it didn't, it didn't look like maybe they had a, a slight uh, curve in the nose they didn't like and they did mm-hmm. cut a little straight and it looked like they went a little overboard. You know, like they cut their nails a little too deep. So to yeah. speak. Yeah, that's the thing. You need to go to the right person that's going to leave some character. And I know the person that would do that. So Overpay? I'm, 
You should always overpay, right? Shouldn't you? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, it depends. You don't want to get a deal. No deal on plastic Group surgery. On. I, no, I was hanging out with these 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 ladies a couple of years ago, and and the, you know we were, they were out of town, and we were just like hanging out. And this one girl was like, "Oh, I have to get going." I'm like, "Oh, well, where do you have to go?" She's like, "Well, wow. I'm, I'm getting my uh, I'm getting like uh, Botox or my lips done. I think maybe it was lips done." And she was like going to do like a post for it. I'm like, this is not something you want to get a discount on. Like you do not want to like get your face augmented by doing an Instagram post. If someone's going to give you a deal. No, like but you pay for that shit. But you, Botox is one of those things where yeah, it's okay. right. A little Botox post. It's all no. good. A little few needles. I, I don't know. I just, why fuck with your face? Have you ever had Botox? I have not. Uh, I've th thought about it. You don't need it. Uh, I thought you were I've, I've been. You I've, have it. I, That's I've, shocking I've been to accused. Me. I have wrinkles here. You have two lines. A guy. By the way, I'm very anti guys doing things. Really? I really, unless it's very. I subtle. have been accused of, of of it. Well, you have a very young face. It's freaking uh, me out. Maybe it's all those vegetables. I have used face. a. I have used a, a face softener filter on 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 an Instagram before. Yeah, you. Uh, I, that Instagram of yours. It's just. It's good. <laughs> is it yeah it's good i take some of those some of the bow tie photos all right bitch uh um, the shirtless jean one i was like what's happening over here i don't with like that those. one those that's kind of like oh just me and my perfect stomach in case you forgot um he's like oh accidentally hot that's that's the i, I want to be accidentally hot I mean, that's that's the, i mean that's 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 the way to go in life best fiends uh, best fiends colorful live action brain fun Free mobile download for your phone. Uh, I love it. It's, uh, I feel like my brain has sharper sharpness to it. And isn't it just Does that fun? Does sense? It's always fun to have a game on your phone that you're playing. Yes, but okay. I also feel like I'm accomplishing something. You know how much time before I got Best Fiends that what? I felt like I was on my phone and like rotting my brain? Right, exactly. Yeah, not so much with Breast Fiends. They have the... <laughs> Breast fiends. Oh okay. no! Not no. so much with best fiends. They have the cutest characters. They change so like for Thanksgiving they had special Thanksgiving themes. I'm sure there'll be something fun for Christmas. Yeah, I play it all the time. Every time I'm in a waiting room, a waiting room. I'm not waiting room. Uh, when I'm in, waiting for auditions, I play it. A waiting room sounds like I'm going to the doctor all the time. I don't. I never go to the doctor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, it's. I don't know. It's. I, I really believe in brain exercises, and I've gotten better, so I feel like I'm getting smarter at the same time. Right. This is great. Engage your brain with fun puzzles and collect tons of cute characters. Trust me, over a hundred million downloads. This five-star rated mobile puzzle game is a must-play. Download Best Fiends free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Um, but do you feel like you might be letting? Or like, you know, if people appreciate your authenticity that people might be feel let down in some way. Yeah, yeah that's my fear. I really, I think people, uh, there are people that look up to me and they respect the fact that like you are where you are. You haven't had to really alter yourself that yeah. much. And um, and why mess with it? And it's not like it's so bad where it's affected me getting dates or going Obviously out with, or getting not. married. Yeah. No, you have I, a fabulous job. Yeah, I have a fa like, so it clearly hasn't like hindered me, but it's also just one of those things as I think I've gotten a little bit older, it's like if it was just slightly smaller, it'd be like, bitch, hot. Here's the interesting, because it's like, it's like a chicken before the egg argument here. Because at one on one end, it's like, hey, like why do you feel like the need to do that or the pressure? But also what if you just want, it's also your prerogative too like to do it people can be judgy for the, like if you want to get botox whether you're a guy or a girl if you want to get a nose job if you want to get your breasts augmented if you're a guy and i don't know what the, the, some of the options are people often will judge you for doing that so what is the like you know in the sense that some people do it some people don't and everyone has an opinion about it and you then we talk about body shaming and body images and is it you know, the Kardashians get criticism a lot for right. having done this. And are they good role models for the young women of the world? But at the same time, like, I mean, are you, if you want to do that and you can. You I can't be responsible what, for every single person. Yeah, but it's just, it's like, where do you, what's the right way to do it in terms of, I guess if you want to do it, do it. And you sh no one should, everyone should just mind their own business. And they won't, which is fine. But then you just do whatever ultimately I think makes you happy and which is what I keep going back and forth on. But for me, it's like, I'm just like, it doesn't bother me that much. And I've also never done anything permanent. Like I don't have tattoos. I, I mean, the, I mean, the most drastic thing I do is really like dye my hair and get Botox. But again, Botox is like breakfast. Yeah. Is it? It is. LA is different from Wisconsin. It, it, when you grow up here, it's also different. 
Yeah, you're from here. Yeah. You were on a, a show called The Rich Kids uh, of Beverly Hills. Hills. Yes. Fun show. I was. I it was, to watch it was a good I've, show. Yeah. It was a good time. Not familiar with it, but it just certainly speaks to the different childhoods that we had. Yes. Uh, uh, how old were you when you went on that? What was it about? Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Other than being rich. Um, it was just about a group. No, it wasn't even really about that, actually. The title was a little bit, I think, just kind of to get your attention. I mean, we obviously all grew up in Beverly Hills. We were a group of friends, and they just sort of followed our life around. Was it like um, a, a reality, reality version of Beverly Hills 90210? Or was that like the Yeah, goal? but there was like no like abortions. More. Like more. Yeah, like it wasn't like, it was just like fun television. It's 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 actually quite the cult classic. Yeah. Um, Nick, yes. People. Everybody. Is that kind of how you got your start? Yeah, that's 100% how. And even like the, to the this day, I'm like, oh, that's still being mentioned. But yeah. Um, Does that bother you? No, but like I, it doesn't bother me because I love everybody on the show. They truly are my friends. We had an amazing time filming. I got engaged on the show. I got married. You're gonna Kind of like what you got. Oh, kind of, right? It was like a, uh, okay. I it wasn't like that. That was just a natural, that was just a natural evolution of my life at that time when we were filming. But it when, was on the, the But show. it was on the show. Yeah. Um, and I totally forgot what I was saying to you. But now you're doing all this other stuff. Right. So and now, right. It, and again, I'm maybe kind of projecting my own goals and security at the same time. But uh, more often now are you thought of as Morgan Stewart's successful TV personality I and think not he, he, girl from uh, Rich Kids of Beverly Hills? I think we're entering that um, more and more every single but still, day. But like, still deal with for it. example, I like there's it's always like, oh, from Rich Kids, former Rich Kids of Beverly Hills star. Like there's always some a mention. And by the way, I, I, I appreciate where I started. I don't regret doing the show in any way. It is why I am where I am. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually when you do put so much work and time into something else and you you have a consistent job on television every single day, you kind of want that to not be the thing that's mentioned the most. Like, this is a real job that I have. Like, I have, there's real commitment. There's sacrifices, as we said, with dating. Like, I don't get to go and flirt at Sunset Tower till 1130. I have to be home and wear eye cream. Do you feel like you've had to work twice as hard um, for the respect of your peers, especially early on? Um, I think there was a lot of people when I started to, and people probably that were in the building that I work in now that were like, why are we going to hire her to be here? Like, what is she really going to do? Like, talk about how she's rich. So I do think I probably, not maybe, I don't want to say worked harder than the average person, but I just think I was consistent enough. When I'm around people, I think people are impressed by me and they realize like, yeah. oh, there's more to her not than- that you had to like work harder than like- No, I get but what But you you're... had to like, you had to work twice as hard, as hard for people's respect. Yeah, yes, but I also don't, I don't work for other people. If you're not going to like me, I don't really give a fuck. Is that true? The, no. Because um, I like- it's go. Not <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's some similarities between us and there's, and, and there's a, this, I I don't care what people think of me, except that I c totally care what people think of me. No, I am, see, this is why we're compatible in our Zodiacs. I care because I feel like most people who get to, for example, brand deals. There's a lot of people at face value that'll be like, well, we're not going to do something with her. Like, what is she like? Yeah, she's not an influencer, but she is an influencer, but she's on TV. Like they can't pinpoint it. And then if they meet me in person, hundred thousand dollars comes through so i feel like if you don't like me that's genuinely on you like if you meet me and you still don't like me then that's weird i feel so and that bothers that way me. i am just one of those things like i i'm going to be who i am because i'm stubborn and prideful and i just want you to love that what i'm not going to be is a different person so you will like me. you know what i'm saying there's because never but i but it, it will bother me where I'm just like, kind of like, were you? It's just like, well, why not? I mean, this is, I'm great. Like, great, 100%. I'm, you know. But also, um, have you ever really encountered people that do not like you? I've never really met somebody that does not like me. I, I think that, um, Ooh, no, I mean, over, I, I, <sighs> if I want to turn it on, so to speak, and when people, people always like me better, I think, as they get to know me, I'm guarded at first. I have a bit of a, a, dickish arresting bitch face so to speak at times i don't get that from you i think guarded a little bit based I, on our at again i'm not always on and i can be very aloof and then when i'm not present i i my vibe can be intimidating i've been told and dickish oh men love the word intimidating i don't, don't they? i don't uh, i don't wear that with a, no, no trust me rochelle maybe, knows this and the, like i will just be like maybe yeah, so and so thought you were a dick and i'm like oh, fuck and it's just like i'm and it, I get it, it bothers me because I'm, I, this is, this is not, this is my entire life. Like my Aww. whole life I've been like, 
accused of being a dick where I'm like, well, what did I do, man? Like I was just, I don't know, fucking thinking about something. I don't know. Right. But like, I just, you but know. that's other people's fear of you not liking them. Totally. So it's a cycle. It's cyclical. I, I, I get where it comes from. And, and remember, I, I'm the kid in high school and it was just like, no, no. And it's like, I felt like I was in this spot because you can't, you can't say that. It's like, well, I'm not a dick. It's, it's you who wants me to like, you can't fucking say that because then you're just um, a double dick. Well, maybe you have to say that sometimes. But I, I was, I felt like I was like pleading that case to like a lot of people. A lot of people. Were you popular in high school? Yes, not middle school. Why? But I was high school. Because you weren't as cute in middle school. No, I mean I, we've talked about. It. I was a bit. I was. I was. Two, middle school was two years for me, and I was. I was bullied by a, a, a more popular guy f- for being gay, and then he d- and, and for accusing him of being gay. And then Are, I was, you're not gay, right? No. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to clarify. But he that. did sound like you. Yeah. Were. Yeah, yeah. That was okay. I was like, is this something Freud I should have? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he. I. You know, I was. It was. It was pretty harsh and it was is i mean, vividly remember it and uh and then we went to different high schools and then i i will say i think in high school i probably projected a little bit of being the outsider in middle school and i think i was uh you know it's like the kid who got picked on who's now cool who like wants to be cool and i probably became in some ways the person i didn't like i never bullied or picked uh-huh. on people but i was a uh, i if i could arrogant yeah, if I could time travel and go back in high school, I would have gone out of my way to be uh, outwardly nice to the less popular people. Do you? Talk, and I think I was probably dismissive. Do you talk to people from high school still? Any of your friends? Uh, two of my best friends are still very much were in high school. Like I've, I two of my closest friends who are still my best friends I've met in middle school. And um, no one really else. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Same. Two friends. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if you can have two friends from your childhood as an adult you're you're lucky i have multiple friends from my childhood i mean from high school specifically i have two but i've kind of had the same friend yeah i have had the same friends my whole life the real ones that have stayed yeah i think that's important i think that says a lot about you why i just think it's nice to i mean obviously people grow apart i've had very long friendships decade-long friendships that unfortunately ended and never got back on course so i i mean i why do you think it says a lot about you i feel like there's people listening who like couldn't wait to get out of high school and no, just wanted no. to leave everything behind. But it's not even necessarily about high school. Just like if you're able to make a connection with somebody and consistently tend to that relationship throughout your own life, I think that's a positive quality to have. That, yeah. I mean, fair. I, I just feel lucky to have. Exactly. You know, it's fun to like still get together and, and, and we still to this day, we'll get together and we'll tell the same stories, but it's fun to reminisce yes. about when we were in high school. Right. And there's always a couple of these like five or six stories where we're always like, We'll throw out little like even names or jabs and one of us will get fucking insecure about it because we were always just teasing yes. each other. Yes. Um, and it's great. And it, it it's a warm and fuzzy, fuzzy feeling. Yeah, exactly. Are they still in Wisconsin? They are. They're living the Wisconsin life. They're married with kids and Uh huh. No, do you, I, yeah. Do you want to get married? Uh, I, I would. I, I wanna have kids. Okay. Do you wanna have kids soon? Yeah. And you why have you not found your person yet? Oh man, I spent five years of my life looking for love on a reality TV show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I said that because like <laughs> it, 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 it can happen. It's worked for people, but it, I took a risk in that regard. Right. And part of it too is a combination of things. And then after that, I, I, I changed my life. I, in the sense that I had a, before I went on, I was selling software at a very traditional Midwest kind of life and, and job and mm-hmm. it was all great. And I was very lucky and, and I, like stop that and I came moved to LA and I right. started over and you know the first year and a half I felt very unsettled and for me it was hard it's hard for me to be in a relationship when I feel unsettled mm-hmm. I'm very uh as I found out through our uh, anagram thing I'm very motivated by my profession uh yeah or my work good. my work motivates me and it's if I if I don't feel like I'm in a good place with that I, I don't think I can be in a relationship I think that goes for everybody right you think you so want kids I do want kids. Yeah. I think that's also been the most probably stressful part about this whole breakup is because you kind of do the thing where you get married at the right age, let's say, yeah. and you have an engagement, you have a partner, and then yeah. that kind of falls apart and you're kind of at the age where that's the next step. Right. But then you're also on the flip side so grateful that that did not happen because having to separate with a child, I cannot imagine having to do that. So, you know. But yeah, I mean, I've obviously, I'm obviously like the next relationship I want to have is with somebody that, you know, probably let's, let's sit on this and do this correctly quickly. 
yeah. sit on it. Sit on it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it shoots up that way and then it's easier to get pregnant. Is, am I wrong? I don't know much about the... Do we have to uh, edit all this? Am I going to get a note? It's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I want, I, I, I'm totally open to getting married. I want to get married, but mm -hmm. it's just like, I don't need to. What's your longest relationship? Uh, seven years. Well, I mean, my first, my first love was Jeez. seven years. We broke up five. You know, so they get first love from 18 and 25. We were off and on. Oh, that, uh, those are the best. Right? I had that relationship too. Tragic oh. and amazing and, and terrible. I actually, now I think about it, I had a dream about her last night. Did you really? I, I swear to God. Do you see how I asked you that? And I'm psychic and I knew you were yeah. going to be your answer. I, yeah, it's, I feel a little fucked up. And it was, it was sexual. It was? Yeah. So it you was. guys, that's what kept you together ultimately is the sex, right? I was very... It, I, I mean, I, I just, she's all I knew. She was my first love. I was very physically attracted to her. Right. Uh, I, I just, yeah. And, and, and then I had a year and a half relationship and then I had a two and a half year, two and a half year relationship. And then you went on the show. For the most, and like a year and a half later I went on the show. Uh, and so I've been single most of my thirties. I was in a relationship all through my twenties. That's good. And now um, you're going to be. And now I just feel less of a desire to just be in a relationship. I'm comfortable with being alone and I don't ever want to be in a relationship just to date. I do think I've become a little, little too guarded that way. Are you on dating apps? I, I'm on Raya. Should I be on Raya? Yeah, get on Raya, girl. Do you have to, what do you do? Do you have my, to submit me? You, be, yeah, recommend yeah. her. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, recommend me. Be my friend. No, you go on and then you like, you, you, you put my name in and then I'll get a notification. I'll be like, yeah, she's cool. You better. Sure. But I don't know. Is that a... Just, just so you know, it's like lower your expectations. It's just a nice, safe way to meet some people, most of which you'll be like, Ugh. Okay, so I'm not going on Riot. That's all. That's, just try, that's, just just try it. it. Yeah. But I that's think, dating in general. Like, right. I do think, you, you know, unsolicited advice. Sorry. No, get, bring it on. For someone who has been single, not as a man, I'm not mansplaining here, but to someone who has been single in dating, just, you know, have some fun. I'm, I feel oh. like you're like I can't. I literally can't imagine uh, having been married and then and, and getting divorced. And like I can empathize with this. Like I don't want to fucking deal with this bullshit well, or I, like whatever. But like I'm still in the midst of like we've just separate. Like yeah, I haven't even yes. divorced yet. So it must be tough. But like have so some weird. fun along the way. You're oh, gonna no. meet. You're gonna have terrible dates. I'm all about the fun. I don't think I'll ever. I'm I'm good. I I I'm pretty good on dating. Like I could go. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have your a, ability. But what if? You, but I wouldn't go out with somebody that I felt like wasn't going to keep up his end of the bargain. Oh. Well, how would you, how do you know though? In terms of personality, like I wouldn't say yes. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but well, you never know in yeah, the bedroom. That's the thing about- Oh no, but the bedroom, I feel like you date like at least three times before you do that. Oh, you say that now, but we'll see. But I don't know. <laughs> would no. you ever have a one night stand? I, you know what? It's crazy. I actually have never had one. Oh. Which I know. I I I, and did, I like say one I night... had sex with all my friends. Do you right. know what I mean? Yes, so they yes. were all in the same. Yeah. Do you I, know what I mean? And I mean one night stand. I don't mean like I went to a rave. I don't even know their name, and you wake up. I mean like you go on a date. You have a nice time. You totally know their name. Maybe you even talked on the on the dating app a few times. But yeah. like the night, you have a couple of glasses of wine. You go home and you wake up like oh we just had sex. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm not I'm not opposed okay. to that. Uh, it really just depends on how that all goes. Cool. Um. <laughs> No, I just, I think. Cool. Ah, yeah, great. I, uh, I think. <laughs> Keep no, I, moving. I don't really have a, a, I'm just, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's so much pressure to go out in the, in the dating world and I can't, I feel, do you feel like you're putting pressure on yourself to, to get out there? No, I actually feel like even right now, as we're having this conversation, there's been like a few people that have kind of circled in and out. And I really am just keeping my energy as clear as possible. Like I'm not going to like text every second. And by the way, even like for me, I don't have the time to text all day long. Like even if somebody's flirting with me and I like them, like I'll be like, oh shit, I didn't respond. Like, you know what I mean? I'm busier. So I... I just basically am like clearing all energy and whoever wants, who's like hot, I'll like, and wants to come in and I'll want to have sex with them. Great. I'm not like, I'm not putting out my energy. I'm open, but I'm not putting forth energy towards somebody being like, come, let's go out to dinner. You're not, you're not. Yeah. You seem like. You're, right. Yeah. I but get like, what you're saying. But also like, don't mistake. Like if it's Friday night and I'm at Craig's and I'm two tequilas and I'm like, you're so hot. Like I'm Are quick you to be looking forward to the, um, the excitement of the, like, you know, that when you describe meeting someone, you're texting all day, yeah, you're, no. like, the banter, that's fun. I excel at banter. So anybody that steps up to that challenge, I love, I love a banter. Uh, but yeah, that like that text, the best, the, the, that's, that's fun. It is um, fun. I've had like some mild things and then, um, then they've just not, then I'm like, you're a fuck boy, bye. Without 
getting into details about your past relationship or ex, what are some things that in the failed relationship you had, things you've learned about yourself um, that you would like to change or apply for the future in, in your next relationship? Well, I do feel like in my relationship towards the end, there was a lot of sort of, we were very combative towards one another. And he, I can genuinely say, is one of the nicest, best people. And I think a lot of what I was feeling internally, like the person that I am like sort of in my stomach is not necessarily the person that c comes out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I'm somebody that's extremely harsh without intending to be and extremely aggressive. And really inside I'm vulnerable, sad, and want your attention and affection and love. What do you and mean I, by harsh? Like I'm like, I'm feeling all these things inside. And then I'm like, well, you're a fucking loser. And he's oh. like, well, whoa. And then it just sort of deteriorated from there. So I now see all of the things about myself that in the relationship when he was in front of me, I could not figure out why we were going down this path. Like, but it was, a, it was I was really much at fault for a lot of it. But, he, so, it's 50-50 no matter what the circumstance. Sure, but question, when you say, I, I, I relate to this because I have been in relationships. I where, have to adjust, sorry. Uh, yeah, do it. The again. name, I, and I don't respond very well to it. Men do not. And it's just like, I'll, it, if n the only thing that makes me mad, really in general, or especially in a relationship, is if I think you're not trying to solve a problem, I think you're trying to deliberately hurt me. Yeah. And I think a lot of women do that out of insecurity. Uh, and a lot of women feel like you're not performing up to what they want, but they're not expressing that. So they'll just go for the jugular. You're just trying to be mean. And just be mean to you. And I see looking back, like there were so many times where he needed help or needed something from me. And I was, or we'd end up in a fight and 10 minutes into the fight, I'd be like, how are we, he what, what happened? I'm not even, and then I would get, the thing about me is if things become overwhelming, I get tired really quickly. And mm. then I just bow out and I'm like, let's just stop it. So then we were in a pattern of not being able to like navigate our way out of it. So yeah, you're very correct. And women are tend to do that, or at least I tend well, to I, do that. I don't know. I just know I've been in relationships where that's happened. I don't know if it's a general thing. Yeah. But it's it's some, it, I am sensitive to it. So when I, yeah. hear, when I hear that, cause it's just like, and I'm like a literal person. So like I'm, you know, as a guy, I'm that classic, like f the fixer Fix mentality. And so even if it's something mean or unproductive, I will still attempt to respond to that and like take it literally or serious and solve that problem. In the meantime, she just fucking said it to get at me. And there was nothing really to argue. So it feels like you're very communicative in your relationships and you want to solve whatever problems in front of oh, you. Oh, I'm a very which, communicative person. Which I think is great. To slightly annoying, I'm sure. Uh, do you want to like talk through everything? No, I'm just like, I have been told in relationships that I'm a, generally a really calm person. And then when the other person's not calm and I'm just like, all right, well, let's just, that's pissed them off. I didn't match their uh, energy and, yeah. and, and I just didn't feel the need to. And then they would rile me up and then I would respond to that. But then I felt like, well, now you're just a bitch and now you've hurt my feelings. And I feel like you're not only, it's, I don't care if you accidentally hurt my feelings. If you say something that's like, yeah, I'll be honest, that kind of hurt my feelings. That's fine. But I, I know that your intent is to, in fact, hurt my feelings. And you accomplish that. Then I'm like, I go from zero to 100. Right. Okay. Are you sober? I'm just asking. I'm, I mean, I drink alcohol. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. Yeah. That's all. It was just a side note question. Don't let me throw you. But you're not a big drinker. I'm not a big drinker. Yeah. At all. I, I've. You know, I I will I will smoke weed from time. I in fact, as I've gotten older, I have, I didn't I didn't smoke weed or use it until I was in my thirties. I've never been a big drinker. I find that to be better for me to use that because I I I don't like being hung over. I've never been a big drinker. I like a glass of wine. I don't I, love I don't get drunk ever. Anymore. No, I'm yeah, I'm kind of in that place right. Well, now. how could you? You gotta wake up at five every day. I mean, I definitely like I'm a big red wine. Like I'll have like a glass of wine pretty much every, every night. night. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just wait. I mean, by the end of the day, I'm Can't like, imagine. I need something to like just calm down a little bit, and I yeah, don't. Take, I like that. I have no. I don't take anything. I smoke weed sometimes, wow. but there is. I don't take anything. I don't like feeling out of control. Right. Yeah. I like it. Sometimes that can be a little fun. I like getting loose, but not out of control. Because sometimes I need to loosen up. I, I think human beings do. Yeah. But I don't like, I don't like being the guy. And, nope. Yeah. So that's, that's not, that's, that's not, not that's not the good guy. Well, this has been fun. We're going to play one little game. If oh, I'm you so have, excited. Uh, a few more minutes. You we, guys, we a play game, with, yeah. with all our guests. Of it's course I have time. Do you know me? Okay. Rochelle has picked out these questions. I only say that because... You're scared. Well, the, sometimes this one's so fast. Sometimes they can be sexual in nature. Um, okay, let's do it. And I just don't want our listeners to feel like I'm a perv. They probably already do. <laughs> no. Some of them certainly do. 
a perv? Well, I tried, I sent you that article I will talk about it about like uh, long term relationships and people hooked up and it was all like Oh, because you're open about I was labeled up casually. I yeah, but it was written as if like I'm some sort of me- I'm I I don't sleep around. Do you go on dates a lot? To, what define a lot? Like do you go on a date a week? No, but I have gone, there's been a period of time where I might have gone on two dates in the same week. Yeah, that's Maybe fine. three dates in three weeks, but I wouldn't say, but then it's just kind of like, ugh, I'm exhausted. And how are and you- And I won't go for like, I won't go on a date for a month. How are you meeting these people usually? Through friends, through Random. entertainment, I mean, or Raya? It might be Raya, it might be the occasional DM in one direction or another. Um, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'll slide. You'll slide? And, Someone slide, bitch. Uh, Someone slide you did through. Slide home. into your. Yeah, but it was very much like, "Hey, want to come on the show?" And I was like, "Okay." And sure. I will also be at the bottom of a slide with my arms open. You know, like I'm <laughs> there. You know, um, so I'm not. I, I'm a. I'm a huge believer. Like I, I try not to judge myself in that regard. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. always like joke about I want to meet someone in like a more organic and way. Like people want to meet in a way that they can like tell their friends and not feel like a cliche, but like, I'm sorry, that's just doesn't matter. gone. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Do you know me? Oh, do you Google. know me? Okay. Uh, it's real simple. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to put your name in the blank. Rochelle and I are going to guess which one is it? Okay. If you do, or if you don't, don't reveal yourself quite yet. Okay. If there's a fun anecdote or story behind your answer, please share. All right. Okay. Um, I'm never doing a podcast in a skirt again. Wait, are you feeling uncomfortable? No, I just want to Indian style it and I fucking can't. Oh. It's the worst. Okay, sorry. You look hot though. Thank you, my love. Yes. I, I'm going to stay here all day. This was so quick. Oh. I'm not. Don't worry. Longer, Everyone's like, yeah. whoa, whoa. She has to leave. Most people want to get to out like, of get here. Get her the like... fuck out of here, shit, man. <laughs> She's trying to hang. Do you have more you wanted to reveal? No. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Do you know me? Okay. Does Morgan prefer... Ice cream over birthday cake. This is a softball. It's a softball. Um, <laughs> really, truly, maybe the softest of balls we've ever. Wow, I'll put take out it. There. I'll take it. But also, I truly cake. believe that a lot can be uh, derived from softballs sometimes. So uh, I, I'm gonna say ice cream. Sh- that was funny. Unless she, she, you know, I don't know. No, uh, no, no. Don't. What was the answer? I'm gonna say ice cream. Okay. But uh, I could convince myself otherwise. A lot of people don't seem to like cake as much as I do. Uh, oh, you're a big cake guy. I like a good cake. Uh, a good, a good, just sheet cake. Oh. Old school, classic. Oh. Uh, but you, my guess is maybe some sort of like dairy free thing. You know, dairy is bad for your skin. You're very LA. You've grown up here. Oh my god! Jeez, look at gorgeous. the judgy, the judgy McJudge. Your rich here. kids of Beverly Hills. I'm still going to say ice cream. Okay, ice cream. Listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to say neither because she likes pie. Well, I I feel like you are like such a badass girl, and you have all these jobs, and you're like, I'm not going to waste calories on ice cream and cake. I go love. Ice cream. Oh. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. No dairy Mint free, chocolate. you little bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> I, uh, I respect that. That was bullshit. I am, let me just make the one thing very clear. There are no shortcuts. I eat whatever I want. I drink Hell regular yes. soda. There is never a diet anything. Well, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it or I'm not going to eat it. Thank you for Smart. saying that. I'm a huge believer in that. There's, like, listen, I don't. Your Diet Coke is computer parts. It's not better for you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you're going to cheat, just cheat right. Yeah. And then don't, you know, cheat. Yeah. Right. But if you're going to eat ice cream, just fucking eat yeah, ice cream. Yeah, mint yes. chocolate chip from 31 Flavors, the best. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, one nothing, Nick. <laughs> As usual. Has Morgan ever been fired from a job? Hmm. I honestly am torn. I know. Her face made me think no. I could see both. I could see both. On one side, I think to myself, yep, she's, she's a... She's headstrong. Someone pissed her off. She's like, fuck it up, you know? And then she just got fired. And the other time, I feel like she might be a bit of a perfectionist and a hard worker and, and too prideful to get fired. I'm going to go I with the latter. She's, she's never been fired. I don't think she's ever been fired because I don't know if you had a job before. Rich yeah. Beverly Hills. I've never, I don't think, I think I've, I've had internships and things where like people, it just ended. I've never had someone sit me down and say, you're no longer coming Good back to you. this I've company or twice. whatever. You have? Yes. <laughs> Very, it's very traumatic. Hor- it's horrible. Right? It, it makes you feel it, really bad. Was it a, a non-entertainment job? Yes, that's really? why you weren't in your spot. Well, but like, I mean, if you fired, but I still it's tried like, hard. I, I, no, I'm actually surprised. You're a diligent worker. Thank you, Nick. I think I am too. Uh that is, it does surprise me. Uh, but like in entertainment, it's like, hey, it's, that's such a 
You can't get fired. Well, I guess. I mean, that's the thing. It's it's such a volatile industry. Yeah. Right. It's. Yeah. Like, I'm knocking on all the wood in here. There's no yeah. wood in this whole damn. You can't get fired from like your hosting gig. Yeah. She I... shows up at E. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, hey, listen, can we uh, meet? You're great. We love you. We're in the Morgan Stewart business, but like, uh, you're you don't have an office anymore. Right. Has Morgan ever popped someone? Oh, has Morgan ever popped someone else's pimple? Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. That's being married. True. <laughs> it's also just a ton of fun. It is. Ugh. Was Morgan part of a student council in high school? No. <laughs> She's giving it all. I'm away sorry. I didn't look at her. No. I didn't look at her. No, I wasn't. We didn't have that. I went to a European school. It was a European an, I went to an international. Year- I went to a French school. My mom's not from. Do you speak French? Yeah, sort of. That's cool. Your mom, where's your mom? My from? mom's from Switzerland, but my dad lived in in France for ten years, so they wanted me to have a European Whoa. upbringing. So yeah, that's also probably why I'm, I don't have my nose done because they're not so American. Yeah, not so LA. Huh. When are you going to make the decision on the nose? Because I feel like you have to uh, like next week. Really though? Yeah. No. I th- you just have to decide. Yeah, I'm going to either just stick with the nose you have or just or fucking do it. it. I know. Look at you. You're getting so invested in my but nose job because he's annoyed about it. Are you annoyed about it? No, no, no. no, he wants just me to decide. But don't you think I want her to own whatever nose she? Do you think decide? that the way you look could be part of the reason why you are so so, so successful? Um, what's your plan for the nose job? I, I'm assuming you've pictured it. I'm, I want her to like answer my question. Like, yeah, no, Nick. I'm sorry. That was I'm rude. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, ask me that again. What is like? Do you do think, I think part that of me the being reason? Attractive has, or not. No, just the way that you look is part of the reason why you are successful. I don't know. I think maybe there's, I think I have a very specific face. It's See? a little bit more unique yeah. for whatever reason. And I yeah. think I'm very animated when I speak. Yes. Um. So maybe that has, that has added to it. Yeah. But then I'm also somebody that can look bad really easily and I get, <laughs> I do. Yeah, but everyone. But has it, has that hurt you in any way? Career-wise? No, I can't say I've had the hardest rise. And I'm sorry for interrupting, but yeah. now that now to my question, if you got the nose shot, what what's it look like? What's the nose? Just a what subtle, doing? just a subtle tweak down the middle, not like a not a not a break, just a subtle, just a millimeter in, in the, down the front. Mm. Keep the facets around nostril, like all of mm. that similar. We've talked about it. I can't wait to see it. But just but who knows if it's even gonna happen? Yeah, just don't. You know just I mean? don't do the. the we all know that nose. I'm not gonna do the Jennifer Gray nose. I don't even know who she is. <gasps> she so. lost everything. Dirty dancing, Nick. You have to know these things. You can't have a podcast. Don't put baby in a corner. Dirty. Oh yeah, her. She had a yeah. nose job. Yes, and her and she career had a great, ended. Great. She was nose. on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I haven't seen every season. This is unbelievable. This is she, I, she had a great nose. Yeah, that's the point. The whole point. I, I my sister Maria jokes with me that I like a prominent nose. Mm. Oh, I like. Mm. Do you? Do, okay, I have to Google. I don't even. Right, offline combo. <laughs> uh, my first girlfriend who I had a dream about last night. Blonde? Brunette. Do you only date brunettes? I have dated more brunettes than blondes. Yeah. But I've dated blondes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, I, yeah, I would, uh, I agree with Rochelle. <laughs> uh, has Morgan yeah. ever had sex on the beach? No. I grew up pretty close to the beach. No. I'm going to say definitely. No. no. I think definitely. How do you know I haven't had sex on the beach? Ah, uh, I just think you, you it sounds uh fun maybe to you, but like I feel like you're just like oh, this sand. I don't know. Like Is that true? So true. Oh. <laughs> I don't need sand. I have not had sex on the beach. Does that make me lame? No. I find. Have you like, had sex on the beach? Oh yeah. Really? It and, was the best. Have you remember had, in Hawaii? <laughs> you're like, you remember? You're like, <laughs> <laughs> have you no, had sex I, on the beach? <laughs> yeah, you've had sex on the beach. Uh, no, not in the way that you are uh, imagining. No, I've had sex. Uh, uh, uh well, ever in paradise, it was like a compound that's on a beach, but like <laughs> it was in a bad. Count. Yeah, no, I haven't had sex on a beach. With yeah, no, I'm glad that I'm so obvious and um easy to read. I cool. find that I'm I'm good at reading people. Do you, really? What else have you read about me? Uh, I don't know, but I am I'm pretty good at it. Okay, clearly. Uh, uh, I find that when think like sex in the shower. 
hate sex in the shower. I don't even have sex in the shower. What the fuck is A that? lot of the things you think about as a kid about like sex, at the end of the day, the best place to have sex is like in a bed. In a bed. The shower sex is always a pulled neck muscle sciatica. Something's uh, not going well. Yeah, you're like standing and you're limited and then you try to get creative and that's awkward. And then like, unless you have like an amazing shower, then someone's cold. Lubrication is not where it needs to be. It's just not Absolutely. You know what? Agreed. No shower sex, like, no beach I'm sex. I'm not saying I won't have it, but it's not like... It's not hot. You always need to move. You don't finish there. You might start. Yeah. But. Yeah. You know. Anyways. I guess. <laughs> well, Morgan, I really appreciate you coming on. This has been a ton of fun. Thank you so much. I all the it. All the continued success in your wonderful career. Thank you. Where can people find you? Buy your clothes. And we didn't talk too much oh, about it, but you're oh my a God. wonderful. Yes. Talk about it now. Uh, um, well, yeah, well, okay. So I have a workout line called Morgan Stewart Sport. We make the cutest workout sets and tanks and jackets. I'll get you whatever you would like. Um, it's really good material. I've been doing it for probably three, four years now. For you. It's, it does really well. We just had our biggest launch ever two weeks ago. So I was really happy about that. And, I'm and very involved. I remember hearing Brie from The Bachelor as one of your models. I love Brie. She is. She is. She is. Um, she, fun, there she is right now. Fun. If you go to, yeah, down there. There's Brie. Oh, there she oh, she looks great. She's so hot, Brie. I love her. She's a babe. She is a babe, right? Yeah. Uh, that looks, I mean, if I were a chick, I think I'd want to wear that. No, yeah, it's very cool. chic. It looks great. Honestly. It is. And then we did I'm like some to... trench and yeah, it's it's all very good. Um, so you can buy them together, like the top and the bottom. Yeah, you can buy that. I to, love that. I mean, they're separate prices. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then Where we, can people can, find these, a, these clothes? So you can do it. We only sell them online. The company I do it with is called LA Collective. So you do it LA Collective slash, you know, Morgan Stewart Sport. And then I have an Instagram called Morgan Stewart Sport. And then you can find me on my Instagram, which is at Morgan Stewart. Do you just do activewear? And I don't mean just as if. Like no, no, I get it. I, I feel you. Um, I do bathing suits too. We did bathing suits one once. And we're going to probably Why pick did that you decide? Up. I mean, this stuff looks great. It was a natural progression. It was like time. To, and I'm big on bathing suits. Yeah. Are you a active person? Uh-huh. I mean, like not. The craziest. I mean, I go to Pilates like a few times a week and but walk. Regardless, when you do, you look great. I do. Yeah, I do absolutely. When I go walk my dogs and whatever, I'm that always. That is some really nice active wear. No, can you zoom in? There's it's pinstripes. It's very chic, you guys. I have very good taste. I don't want anyone to be intimidated by that. I mean, I mean, that looks. <laughs> if a girl showed up on a date wearing that, I'd be into it. Well, hello. I got a lot of sets for your dates. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's very good. Congratulations. On Thank that. you. Uh, where else can people find you? Oh God, what else? Morgan, at Morgan Stewart, at Morgan Stewart Sport, at Daily Pop, at Nightly Pop, at E, at all the things. Is that good? Was that good? Yeah. Uh, awesome. And also uh, best of luck in the personal life. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to go well, I think. You're going to put good vibes out there. For I me. think you're going to be fine. Thank you. Yeah. I hope so. Ooh. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, it's been another fun episode. Don't forget to send your questions at asknick at castmedia.com, cast with a K. Uh, don't forget to rate of, give us five stars because we have no time for three, four, two, or one. <laughs> I like pan. I, I, I care what people think. I do too. Uh, five stars only. Um, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.